Hello everyone, this is Kathy from The Daily Marker and I'm hosting a 30 day coloring challenge. It's my second one, you've probably heard about it. Um, and yesterday I colored this with some of the Zig Clean Brush watercolor markers and I made these, these two backgrounds here. And a lot of you were nice and said you'd like to see me do a video, so I thought I would do one of my unedited videos, which I like to do when I'm hosting one of these challenges. That way I can do more. So this is the W Plus 9 awesome stamp set. Oh my god, I'm in love with this. I did not, I'm sure there's a die cut and I should have bought it, but I, I do enjoy fussy cutting. So what I thought I would share with you Today, first, you know, I, I love to use Tim Holtz um, oh, watercolor paper. This is specialty stamping paper, so I will be trying that. But today I'm using this watercolor paper, and it's nice and nubby. There's a smooth side and a textured side. And I've gone ahead and I've pre-stamped some more of the doodle flowers because I want to cut them out and pop them on top of this so I have a nice full bouquet and then you can watch me do that so I like to have a towel or paper towels or something nearby in case I get too much water this I love to use Simon's stamp black ink when I'm watercoloring and I like to have something with water that's pretty and it's kind of low because if you have to take it from a can it's high so anyways I better move these I don't want those to get wet and I'm gonna go ahead and get started here um, and I'm not gonna try and color them the same so I'm gonna move that out of the way because it's gonna be just a colorful bouquet so let's make sure everything you can see on camera I have a piece of scrap paper here next to me in case I need need to check a color and let me turn my phone on vibrate so you don't hear that. You might hear other things happening. Okay, so I've just kind of got selected some of the bright colors. They're what I used over there. And you know, I think I'm just going to pull all the lids off. They're not going to dry out. I'm no expert, and I, but I can't imagine that they would. So I'm just going to have them here for the ready want to kind of keep this video short and let me tell you I'm, I'm in love with these okay so I'm going to work from the left to the right and first I'm going to wet the inside of my petals now there's I like I always say I'm not an expert but I think that there's a happy medium between too much water and not enough water. And I thought I would try this um, water brush. I only like to use them empty. So let's go ahead. See that other one is pink. Let's make, let's do a purple on this. So I'm going to use my lighter purple first and just kind of do a color wash. On it now see there's when I did this last so you can tell that some of these have more water because they're it's moving around so the color is moving around if there's a lot of water on it I'm going to add some more water because I kind of want to get I'm just gonna dab it in the middle and I'm experimenting with these, so you get to experiment along with me. So I kind of dabbed some in the middle, and let's see if we can get an explosion of color just by putting the tip on the, the end. Okay, so we'll move that around with a little more water. So I'm going to just kind of see this, this one's moving around a little bit. So I'm just going to do some of the line that butts up against the center and then carry that line towards the tip of the petal. And I'm going to do the same thing 
on each one. Now I'm really kind of pushing the color down because I guess because it's wet so I don't know I'm not an expert okay so I think I want to add a little blue here and then I'm going to take some water And let's see what happens. Let's use the water brush and just dab it there. I'm going to see if there's a difference between. There might be. This might hold more water, so I'm going to use this brush. And the great thing about watercolor, you can always add more color. Can take a paper towel or something and take color off. It's very forgiving. And don't analyze it too much while you're doing it. Just play. Now some of this moved into the center and I'm not going to worry about that. I like a dark center so once this dries some I'll bring some darker color in. Uh, let's add a little bit more of this. I think I'm gonna, whoops, I mean it really doesn't matter. Okay. And then I'm just gonna add another little dibble dabble and bring that here. Have you ever used that word before, dibble dabble? <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to add a little splash in the center. I just dip my brush in the water just a tiny amount. Okay, I think that's good enough. Now let's do this one. Let's go ahead and do this. Now let's, let's do this one without adding water first. Now you might notice I selected the more textured side of this paper. And now let's add a little water. And let's see, you can get some dark and some light tones with the same marker. That's pretty neato. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more. I want the color to move around a little bit. So I'm just kind of tapping the water there. Now, I think I want to bring in a little red. Let's kind of take it to the center and back down. Now, this has too much water because it's not even accepting the color here. And, or so I think. Um, see how this. All right, so I'm going to just kind of give it this stripey effect. And I think I'm going to grab, a, see if this red is brighter. And I'm just going on the end and then kind of doing like a little tornado motion. And these are fun and they're doodle flowers. It doesn't matter if one side matches the other. It's all about being free and relaxing. So let's go ahead and do this. And then I think we'll do a brown center. Uh, let's go ahead and move some of the color around. I'm just going to tap that line. And let's just make the center brown right now. Well, let's make this one. There's two color browns. There's like a light brown and a dark brown. Which 
just really, you can just scribble and then, you know, and it usually always comes together. You, even if you don't like it now, when it's finished, I'm sure you'll love it. I'm talking to you when you make something. Okay, so I'm going to gingerly color in this ring, this doodle ring around the flower. Okay, let's go ahead and do this too. And then we want it to look a little different than the other, so let's add some dark gray. And then when this dries, we'll add white dots and that'll really schnazz it up. Now, see how we're getting some like spider legs here? Um, it's kind of a neat look. We're not going to cover that or hide it or anything. So this time, let's go ahead and wet this. I want to always remember to clean your brush. I'm using this rag here. And you might notice that I'm not going over that doodle line because I want to color that later. And I think I mentioned that I'll be cutting these out. So I'm going to add more water this time. I want to get an explosion of color. And it didn't. Let's go with pink. See, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Where the water carries itself. Let's It's kind of neat how it gives it like a tie-dye look. And then this maybe will just leave some white space. That's hard for me to do. Now we, we want to, I love mixing different colors together, so I think we'll just, this red, let's do purple. Let's do blue. <laughs> And I'm just touching the end there. I think I'm going to go right on the black line and see if it tie-dyes into that area. There we go. I'm going to do this again. And this one again. So you can see it's just kind of playing around. Very easy. Let's add a little bit more water here. And a little more pink here. Let's do red. Here it is. So I don't, sometimes the red doesn't, isn't as bold. I don't know if, if the paper is oversaturated or what. But we don't care. So I'm going to color these little outlines. The brush tip on this is just so lovely. Um, let's add a little water, see what happens, just in the middle. Now say if I didn't like that, I could take my towel and just remove some of that color. And then I could add more and go for another explosion of color. I'm going to add a little brown to this. Now this, the water is actually pooling on this and it, sometimes brown adds, can really make a flower pop.
Okay, so when this dries, I might add a little more color in the middle. Um, let's make sure there's nothing on there, and we're just going to do a quick color on the leaves and the stem. I'm just going to cut some regular old stems from this. I, you're, I hope I'm not disappointing you with this video, <laughs> since you can see there's like no magic here. I'm not doing anything special. The only thing that I'm doing that that is special is I'm not worried about the ultimate how this is going to turn out. Now I'm putting a little water there and I want to bring in a little blue. Let's see. Let's bring in this brighter blue here. Yeah. Look at that. That's what I love. So I'm going to tap it down the middle. And then I'm going to add a little bit more water. Just like that. And I want these leaves to be different than these. And then I'll go ahead and add white dots and lines and stuff to this. So I'm going to see how that is, and I'm going to, I want this to be brighter, let's add, that's the brown, this red, maybe I'll do it just to both surround it. So I will link all the supplies in uh, my in the description area and link to my blog there. And I will show you the finished card at the end. So thank you all for your lovely comments and for watching and playing along with the coloring challenge. It's been a really rewarding experience having so much enthusiasm and participation. So I think I will end it here. I have other videos that show you how I do the white. And I want to kind of keep this short. I'm going to go ahead and color this area here. And this here. Oh, and then let's do the blue on this outside. Oh, let's do red. But see, try to trust your instincts and not think too much about what color you're picking up. So I think I'll use blue. Let's use bright pur the purple on this. Um, this is one time you kind of want to go slow, but actually I'm cutting this out, so doesn't matter if I go over my line. Um, so I will, I have another video coming up later this week with some Simon Says Stamp new product and I'll be doing a giveaway on that day. Oops, my glasses are falling off. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out and then I'm going to pop them on this with some foam tape and add some white dots and then I'll share a picture with you at the end of the video. I just wanted to show you how I play with these and again I'm no master, I'm just having fun and that's what I, that's the whole idea of the 30 day coloring challenge. So thank you for watching, I'm grateful and see you next time. Bye bye.